Hi guys, um, today we are doing something a little bit different that I, norm that I don't normally do in these videos. Um, today is um, a video about Mr. Zack Bagans. Mr. Zack Bagans and um, that I, meant, I mentioned um, his name a lot of time in my videos. Um, but I, I just couldn't think of ideas what um, I should do for my video. And I was thinking of um, doing something different um, than, than I usually do. Um, of see, telling you guys um, what Zack's life um, the beginning of Ghost Adventures and stuff like Zack Bagan's timeline um, yeah I'm going to show you a couple of videos that from all the way from 2004 to two from 2004 and, and present today so yeah I hope you like it um, I had lots of time, I had like an hour to research, not really research, but look for the videos in the years, like 2004, 2008 and stuff, 2012, and it took me actually an hour and a half to actually find the perfect videos that I was looking for for each year. So the first one, the first one, um, 2004 was the documentary of Ghost Adventures before it went on TV, before it went on the Travel Channel. Um, the documentary um, Ghost Adventures 1 is um, 2004 is in um, Nevada. Um, I think it's um, it's called Silver Queen. That's where they first investigate. Um, yeah, this is what Zach Bagans looked like. Um, in 2004 and it shocked me because I never know I didn't know that he looked that changeable at then today so yeah this is a video of him with that him uh, in him a uh, him at 2004 and uh, this is our time it's time to uh, to go dark come and get me ghost look at him slit my wrist just like you did <laughs> Yeah, that was him. It was just like, wow, he's changed a lot. That was the Civil Queen, um, room 11, where they investigate. Um, yeah, moving on from, and then they stopped and did a documentary and went over the, around the world and it went on the news. And then they decided to do a series um, or seasons of Ghost Adventures in 2008. Their, first, their second investigation, well the first investigation um, was on TV and it was called Bobby Mackey's Music World. And they went there and they got freaked out and they said they don't want to go back there. And this part, this video that I'm about to show you is a part that I was like, okay Zach, you need to, seriously, you need to calm down like, like he never stops swearing. So, yeah, I hope that will calm down of the spirits. So that's why he. Sh that's why he was in mood because something was scratched. So that scratched him. He seriously needs to calm down. Is this a scratch, Zach? No, that pisses me. Who the did that? Huh? Did someone just scratch me? Dude, it's burning again, guys. I can't. Let me see. See what I mean? He's just like, wow. So, back, it was just like, I got a lot, I got lots of notes here that I researched, and I had to look down. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, back, going in one year later, in 2009, um, they went, and this um, video that I'm about to show you is some of the. Um, Aaron's vlogs that you do, that Aaron do, one of the investigators. Um, Aaron's vlogs, what she does is um, they go and behind the scenes of um, their episodes of Ghost Adventures, and that's what they basically do is this 
like if they have spare time they show you what they normally do every week when they go away investigating haunting and yeah this one was um this one was in I don't I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this one right because it, I just I can't really like pronounce a bit is it Michigan 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 I think I think it's go I think it's Michigan um they're in a town called Michigan um in America I'm not sure what part of the um, America but they went to a crab shop and yeah. He seriously got a little bit crabby. Vegas boy that lived in Vegas that grew up in Florida. I loved crab. And in Vegas, you go to Joe's Crab Shack, you can buy it frozen. But when you're in San Francisco at the Fisherman's Wharf, you can get it fresh. Dungeness crab. This is called heaven. Right? That's called heaven. That's right. This is called heaven. But if the pinchers get you like in the fingers or the, this hot oh, down here, there's no heaven. There's no, no heaven. No heaven. They laugh. That's no good. What? Oh, shit. Damn, dude. What's up, man? No. Oh, he oh, did. Aaron, Aaron, just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. See, he's got it, dude. Yeah. He's gonna break it too, Aaron. Okay, come on, little guy. Come on. I'm gonna tickle him in the private spot. Okay, let it go. There we go. That's awesome, dude. Them, sir. That's called fresh crap. Just the way I like. Oh my god, I just can for some reason I just can laugh at that for ages. Just like you took it in the private spot. I was like, I shouldn't be watching this. It was just like, what the hell? Basically just saying, okay. Probably not. And the other one was an investigation. It was Valentine's Day, also in 2009. Um, I think it was after that. Um, they went to this haunted place that is a hotel. Um, they had there was a lady that couldn't find any love because her um, boyfriend was um, on like it was a sailor, and she waited for him all her life. And she died at the age of 40, I think, or 43, I'm not sure. But this is the, what is this, this, uh, this video I'm about to show you is part of the episode. Um, it's a Valentine's special and this video was a part of an episode and Aaron and Nick gets really embarrassed by Zach because Zach stands up and tells him, and tells all the couples around the restaurant in the little restaurant area in the hotel and he tells and Zach tells the rest of the couples that who will be his valentine and he tells them about this ghost um, and that she didn't find him by the boyfriend and yeah <laughs> so this video this is what the video I'm about to show you is what I meant about Zach standing up and Aaron and Nick gets really embarrassed. Your loved one and you're kissing over here, it's cute, you know? But I do have something that, that I would like to say. There's a spirit here of a woman that is that is very beautiful, okay? She's gorgeous and that's who is my Valentine. That's who I'm gonna hook up with, all right? Happy Valentine. <laughs> that was just a little bit there. Let's move on. In 2010, um, this was also part of the episode um, this one was, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember what it was, but it was somewhere, it was in the middle of nowhere, and they, and they shot, um, um, a place just across the road from the location that they're going to be locked down in, um, and Zag was standing and looking at cameras, and it came across, um, school buses, um, and, and Zach gets something a little bit embarrassed because these two girls tells him that he's seen on TV and he's hot. So yeah, this video, I'll just show you, is what I meant. Hey. Yeah, they're all waiting for the kids. Hi. I see you on TV. You do? Yeah, you're hot. 
Ah, thank you. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Looks like Zach's got a new girlfriend. Yes, Zach, Zach definitely had a girlfriend. But... But I don't know. And the other video... And the other video that I'm about to show you was also in 2010. I'm not sure what episode it was this, but it's in one of Aaron's vlog. Um, in Aaron's vlog, and this video was um, in the cookie time. Like, they basically um, knock on Billy, Zach's, Aaron's, and Nick door and Nick hands them the cookies and they just basically eat cookies when they're sometimes at every hotel and yeah that's what they basically do so this video to show you is what they normally do in each hotel round about at midnight round about that time <laughs> what is Billy doing? How did he get happy? I was gonna be pissed if someone's bothering me about my cookies. I was like, why do they want a snack in the middle of the night? And they're just like, doesn't matter if they've been doing a lockdown or not. This is knackered. Go did I say two thousand eleven? Oh yeah. T now, 2011 was a big year for Zach because he had so many things to do, like Scarefest, like Scarefest in 2011. He was at Scarefest um, because he released his um, first book called The Dark World. Um, you can still buy it on Amazon and stuff, um, but if you're in America, you can. I think you can still get it from shops. But if you're away in different countries, if you're in different countries, you can get it on the website, on the shop. And he's talking about the, he's interviewing this person um, about, um, this man asked Zach saying, how do you pick locations, haunted locations for each episode? Like, and Zach gives an answer, so this is a video that Zach gave. All come to us. And they tell us these locations, but it's our determ- uh, And the other thing in 2011 was a um, mystery house. Uh, Winchester, Westminster, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's something mystery house. And Zach gets really confused, all these rooms, and Aaron and Nick. And Air Zach is bursting for the bathroom, and there's only about three bathrooms in that house. And Nick, Aaron, and... Zach was really confused where they were, so the first time when Zach found the bathroom, he was shocked, and then the second time he found the bathroom, he was more des des desperate to go to the bathroom, and the third time, he was like, are you being serious? So this video, I'm going to show you, is one was part of the episode, and this was a video that I was mentioned about. Like that. Here at the Winchester Mystery House, they even tease you to use the restroom. Go, 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 go. Ah, finally. Are you serious? That's it. For in 2000, let's move on to 2012. 2012 was not really busy for Zach, but the only thing on his mind he will never forget about 2012 is fishing. He was fishing in the beach for some reason and he's been fishing for st um, seven days straight for s he was and he didn't pick up something. So he tried again on like, the eighth day and he did catch something and this is the video that I'm about to show you is what Zach caught with Gracie a little bit. <laughs> Grab, grab, grab. Come on. Oh. Grab, grab. I'm sliding. I'm sliding, Jay. Grab it. Grab it. Get it, get it. Get it, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie. watch out. Get it. Get it. Watch out. Is it? Uh, I got some squid. Nice, you caught some squid. Yeah, I just... 
I just was practicing if I were to really get one. That's like calamari grade squid right there. I've been fishing for seven days out here. I haven't caught no damn fish. But if I ever did, that's what it would look like. Um, so Gracie was meant to cut the 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 rod, the string thing, but if she did, geez, that would be like, what the hell? Um Let's move on to 2013. 2013 is what, in, again, Scarefest was like, okay, okay. So, this time, oh, sorry. This, oh, for fuck's sake. For this time, for Scarefest in 2013, there was lots and lots of fans that posted um, videos um, hugging Zach or kissing Zach or getting the autograph from Zach and they post it on YouTube. So this is a video where I got from, I forgot her name, but her name is Apple and she gets her autograph from Zach and this is what Zach looks like today. In, well, not today, in 2013. In a scare fest. Isn't that awesome? Bucks, pick, 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 I actually drew this for you. Oh wow, you gotta hold it up. I gotta take a good I tweet anybody that sent me all some badass artwork. <laughs> Jeez! You're all so talented. Thank oh, you. God. I drew it around your birthday and tweeted it to what you. What is you using there? Charcoal? Uh, charcoal and pencil. Jeez. That's so badass. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Who's this too? Uh, my name's Apple. Apple? Whoa, Arm, what did I just eat? <laughs> yeah, what's her name? Yeah! Because <laughs> she's red hair. <laughs> it's the red hair. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, that was, a, that was it. And she was, she looked pretty excited. Um, in 2014, 2014, um, it got a little bit, you know, thinned because Zach was getting more and more um, focused on locations now than he usually do. And in 2014, he released his album. People thought it was 2014 for different countries, but I would say it's 2014. But in 2014. Um, Zach um, released um, his music album called, I think it's Nyquevision, Nyquevision, um, about his ex ex about his experience um, when he's at haunted locations, um, how um, communicating with them, and when he's at home or stuff like that. So um, this video, this video I'm about to show you is one of the songs from his album called "Same for Me." I think it is, but it's a really good song. And um, he spent it in 2013. He did, he worked on this huge project in 2013 and released it in 2014. So this this album was amazing. And yeah, this is a video of one of Zach's songs from the album. Some of the most powerful messages are delivered through music. Messages from those who breathe. Now it's time to listen to those who speak after they've already taken their last breath.
to that for hours it was just amazing and the other video in 24 and I wanted to show you was on his fine video this fine video on sack was just basically saying that just saying this word to all his fine or ghost adventures fans hi 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 Hi. Yeah, he was just basically saying hi, so, in a weird way sometimes, in loops. Right, the final year is 2015, um, this year, this year was, for some people, like, wowzing, because, um, this video is about to show you, it's around about three or four, but some of them are from Aaron's vlog, and some of them are for his finds, I think. The first one was the Bell Witch Cave was behind the scenes. People think it was 2015, but I, but it was close to not to 2015. So this video was in Bell, which, uh, Bell Witch Cave. Um, it was just before they were gonna fast get in there, and they got really confused, like their names. For example, like this. 
Hello, Aaron's vlog. This is Zach. Billy! I'm name? not Zach. I'm I Billy. said this is Zach. <laughs> and I'm, I'm Jay. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm Aaron. Okay, let's let's try this again. Ready? Okay, hang take on. Take two. Take two. Take two. Aaron's vlog. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Billy. I'm Jay. And I'm Aaron. Did you? I want to keep that take. Just oh yeah, we'll keep going. Just just put him on blast. Yeah, and like at the outside of ghost hunting, they get really confused between Lucky Charms or or a Leprechaun in Ireland. Do a Leprechaun, bro. What? Because you grab it, you get Lucky Charms, and then after that, you get a wish. Come on, dude. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. We're leprechaun hunting. You just killed leprechaun. Aaron's walk out. I just injured him. Um, I was trying to I was trying to search up for videos what they did in 2005, six, and seven, but all there was nothing coming up except from pictures. But at least I showed you some of Zach's. Bacon's experience of Ghost Adventures and I hope you like it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and if you want more like this of any other celebrity, let me know in the comments. Yeah.